Hey everyone, Sanctarian here again, and today we're gonna be bringing you some rock solid gameplay. Yes, you heard that right. Today we're gonna be covering Malphitalia, which has actually been a pretty decent deck now for the couple pa couple patches, right? It's not tier one or anything, but it is kind of sitting around that low tier two, high tier three, in my opinion, just because of the combos that you can get with this deck, right? The Salt Spires or the Rock Bear Shepherds follow up with Fatalia to duplicate those and get multiple rock bears uh sorry get multiple grumpy rock bears are just so good i can almost kill almost can, can almost put too much pressure against almost any deck and then obviously if that's not enough you then you just drop down your big mouth fight stun the whole board and just win the game like that this deck is a lot relying on their champions so that's why this deck can be a little bit more inconsistent than others but again i think it's really good especially in a mid-range meta so Hope you enjoyed today's showcase of Malphi Talia and that you get to learn how to play the deck a little bit. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post a lot of videos every single day. I'll see you at the end of the video for more in-depth breakdown and mulligan tips. Enjoy. In this match, we're going against Sundisk. Ah, uh -huh. We're kind of slow, like very slow. This hand is not horrible. I just feel like Malphite is too early. I feel like Malphite is too early, right? Because I'm probably not going to get the Malphite down anytime soon. I like the Soul Spire. I like the Soul Spire. Uh, and the Mystic Vortex. Just try to level up the Stalia. Sunburst is not bad. We don't have a turn 3 play, and that's a problem. Opponent got scared of our Desert Naturalist, which we don't play. So opponent gets scared of a desert natural that we don't play. We could go Salt Spire Talia, and that's not bad. Um, at least to get her started, give us two big five fives. That will also level up Malphite right away. I'm still concerned here. Very concerned. I have to just do this, right? I mean, if I let him attack here, I think that's a different problem. You know what? I'm gonna go Salt Spire. I'm gonna pretend that Renekton doesn't exist. I know I need to stop their level up, but I think this combination of Talia into Salt Spire is too good for me to pass up. It gives me the blockers that I need, right? We have a level the Malphite now. We have Quicksand and we have Celestial Wonder to stop this Renekton from leveling up. So I think I'm down to take this, this trade here. Uh, to take that damage. Just so that we can actually get to our game plan. Before the opponent can do anything else. We need one more Landmark to level up Talia. Predator. So see, opponent's going to try to level him up right now. And we're just going to Quicksand. And opponent's going to be sad. Because the Talia stays alive. And the opponent just lost the Ruthless Predator. Now, next up, we have two options, right? We have Celestial Wonder or Sunburst. A second strike doesn't do it. Because it will only get them to eight. So they're just going to go ahead and push damage, right? The Renekton just dies, though. No, it doesn't. It survives a one. So the opponent does have access, by the way, to the... So the opponent could level up this Renekton. If they have a Rally Negation, they level him up. If we want to play around Rally Negation, then it's probably better for us not to do anything. So then the opponent can easily have access to an Aseer that can level up really easily. But I think I have to let this go. Because I think I'm just going to go for the Talia level up. I'm going to go for the Talia level up. It might, be a, it might be a risk, right? But the opponent could easily have Rally Negation. And that's a problem. Uh, I could have done the Rock Hopper first, to be honest, actually. Yeah, the Rock Hopper first was probably better. If the opponent plays a Seer, a Seer is still pretty far away. That's the only benefit that we have. The opponent could have an answer here for the Talia. They could have an answer here for the Talia. We have a big attack next to them with the Grumpy Bears and the Talia. And then we'll have the Mouth Fight that's going to be leveled up. If the opponent doesn't get a Seer, and a Seer is so far from leveling up that I don't think they get there, even if they have it. We're just going to go ahead and play the Talia. Get the Landmark. 
get the level of Talia. Represent four mana for Rider Negation. But that's all we can represent, right? We don't have anything else. We get two more Grumpy Bears next turn. Uh, we need to keep enough. We need to keep two spell mana so that we have enough for Celestial Wonder. Oh, okay, so now they can get their Seer, right? So now they can get their Seer, and that could be a problem. I'm even giving them the board space to summon more units. We have a lot of blockers, though. We have a lot of blockers. Even if the opponent gets their Seer, I guess the Renekton, right? The Renekton, when he blocks, is a problem. But I can actually just sunburst the Renekton next turn. This has to be a Seer. And even after even after the opponent summons a Seer, they still have to have five more units. Right? Let's predict into something that might be useful for us. Like Rider Negation. I like the Rider Negation. I like the Rider Negation a lot. Gives me a lot of defensive options. Again, next up, we, we, we're just going to play Malphite, right? So we have the Malphite plus Rider Negation backup. So I don't see how the opponent kills us here. Second Glory Skull. So they have they could have the Obliterate, but again, we have that's why we picked the Rider Negation. And they're still so far away from getting this Seer leveled up. The Sand Soul Deck takes it to 8. Another unit takes it to 9. And that's it. We don't need to block their units. We don't need to block their units. Okay, so I guess we just keep the Celestial Wonder then, right? Opponent's gonna try to kill us here, but can they actually kill anything here? No, right? Because we just play Malphite, stun the Renekton, and we're okay. The Renekton gets plus 3, plus 3, so you can... <sighs> do I even stun the Renekton? I think, I think we do. I think we do stun the Renekton. Because he, he can trade with the Talia. And I think having the Talia stay, it should be good enough, right? Opponent still cannot level up their Seer. We just go here. We stun all their units at the beginning of the turn. And then we attack for lethal. All you do is just kill one of my Rock Bears. And you still have to do, deal with the rest of my attack. Let's now take that extra 2 damage if we don't need to. So that gets a Seer to not, a 9 out of 12. I, I can't believe that Renekton leveled up before a Seer. That's actually crazy. This is 10. Because the opponent doesn't have enough board space, the only way that they actually level up a Seer here is by having multiple Ancient Preps. They don't have it. So we just go Unstoppable Force. If the opponent responds with like a Rider Negation, I think that's fine. We didn't even probably need the Unstoppable Force, to be honest. Yeah, so you see how they responded with the Rider Negation here? We're gonna go ahead and go like this. And stun. Actually, I'm gonna stun this too. I'm gonna stun this too. I see a cool level up here. But the opponent has to attack. And also have a unit, right? So we can go here, just stun these two guys. And just leave our own Rider Negation as a backup. And this is still lethal, right? Opponent only has one blocker. This doesn't level up your Seer. We just press OK so that the opponent doesn't have anything on the stack. This only gets a Seer to 11. No, that's not enough. The Talia still survives. Yeah, I mean, we just press OK and we just swim back. So we just press OK and then we swim back and opponent even gave us their Seer. And that's game. We know that the opponent has another Emperor's card. So... GG's. In this match, we're going against Darn and Nora. So this is going to be a long game. A long game. I think I need to mulligan for my landmarks, and none of these cards help me out in the beginning. We have the Rock Bear Shepherd, which is nice. Uh, do I want to develop the ship before the Rock Bear Shepherd is on the field? Hmm. Potentially. I'll, at least I'll wait until turn two to do it. I don't know that we play 
the ship after the Rockfish Shepherd, because I think I want to copy that landmark, right? Okay, now we can actually get the ship anyways. Unfortunately, the put opponent gets their Nora. Yeah, 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 whatever. I don't hate the quicksand. I don't hate the quicksand as a way to get rid of the Nora. Let's play the chip. Oh, that, I, I messed up. I messed up. Ah, I messed up. If I play this Rock Bear Shepherd now. If I play this Rock Bear Shepherd now. When this triggers, it's going to bring down the Habinating Rock Bear. And I want to copy the Rock Bear, right? So I want to copy the Rock Bear, which means that I think I just chill here. And I play the Rock Bear Shepherd next turn. Unfortunately, the opponent ended up getting a pretty good unit with Assessor. Even if the opponent has Snar, we have the Quicksands. We have a lot of Quicksands. Off we go. I think it's worth it. Yeah, I think it, I think this is worth it. I think we just go like this. Just kill the Nora. Stop the portal. Dope. So now we can go Rock Bear Shepherd. And what I can do is that when I play a Talia, this is going to be a 2, right? Opponent needs to kill this Shepherd. Okay, well, they can just kill that. Wow. That that punishes me. That's a big deal. Scroll Sheriff is a big deal. I don't have a really good play anymore. So I say that, I draw the Salt Spire. The Salt Spire is pretty good as well. The opponent's going to have to have a second Scroll Sheriff for, their, for them to beat this Rock Spire. And we have just enough mana to play Rock Spire. I mean, oh, they actually had the second one. All right. We have just enough mana to play Rock Spire, uh, Talia, and Quicksand, but the opponent had other answers for that. So the opponent actually had other answers for that. So do we Quicksand again? I think if we're going to Quicksand again, it's to prevent the opponent from actually getting any value from Nar, not getting any Poke Stick. Opponent's just gonna wallop. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we're gonna. We're gonna Sunburst, I guess. We have to Sunburst so that the opponent doesn't get the rally. Ah, uh, they leveled up Nar. But now we have no way to beat their. Oh man, the, those Core Sheriffs completely blew us out. We literally went into the perfect counter matchup. That's a big deal. That's a, actually such a big deal. Uh, I, I guess we can play we can play the Talia and just have the Talia spell to get me the landmark. Alright. Surely third time is the third time is the try, right? Surely the third time we're okay. When it gets multiple portals, so this is gonna be a big attack next turn. Surely we get there, right? We cut. I, I don't care about this damage that we're about to take. Okay, opponent didn't even get the portals, so I, it definitely doesn't matter now. We take 5 7, we go down to 10. Okay. Now we can play Talia, right? <laughs> now we can play Talia, and next turn we'll have our mouth fight. I can't believe the opponent actually had double scorch earth. I'm actually. cannot believe that. Like, at all. Alright, so this is a big deal. The opponent's gonna get another attack right here. Uh, we should actually... We should actually Desert Duel this one. No, but then the opponent could have like a Disintegrate, right? So let's say that we Scorch Earth. So this is 6. We block there. The opponent got 5. That's 11. 11. 15, 18, 20. They have they have, they have the way to have to have lethal on us. So again, if we block here, sits. I mean, we can block the sits if necessary. We block the five. That's still 11, 14, 15. Let's 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 be greedy. Let's be greedy here. Let's be greedy here. And let's just block like this. 
I guess this loses to a group shot, right? So this loses to a group shot. This loses to a group shot. If we go like this, opponent only has enough. Opponent will have to have two answers here, group shot and Pytos. Sure. And down to go down to uh, two. And down to go down to two. We play the Malphite. We have the Malphite. So we go here. Let's just go like this. We have the Malphite. We have a big boar. Opponent has to... Uh, op even if the opponent kills Malphite, I'm okay. We have another stun, right? And we have the Desert Duel as well. To get rid of one of their blockers. This is exactly 14, even if the opponent kills Talia. So even if the opponent kills Talia, this is exactly 14. Not if they have that. Okay, well, if you have if you have the damage, you have the damage, right? Do we ever have Leto here if we just open attack to play around a second pirouette? So let's say that we go Celestial Wonder. And we stun here and here. Opponent has two blockers. We have three attackers. We deal... Uh, yeah, they have enough. They have enough to save that. So it has to be exactly... If the opponent has a second period, they win, right? If the opponent has a second period, they win. Stop I can't play around it. I thought two was safe. So, I, oh, that also works, but not true. That does keep them alive, right? Because that kills the Talia. That keeps them alive. The stun. So it had to be Rider Negation then. But the Rider Negation doesn't get us there. What we can do is force him to block with the bro man, and then we still lose next turn. So we can at least force him to block with the bro man here. Opponent gets the Grumble Slug back. The opponent has enough attackers to win next turn, but maybe not if we are able to actually kill this Shark Trainer. We can stun... Okay, the Shark Trainer does nothing anymore. So the Shark Trainer does nothing because the opponent has no, no mana. They have to play the Grumble Slug, and they do. So now we go here. Opponent has the... The, uh... The Nar level up. We have the stun... Opponent has the Nar leveled up. We have the stun to survive. Unless the opponent gets the last portal unit. So we beat everything except the last portal. Opponent cannot get Poke Stick here. Please don't get the last portal. They got it. So that's Leto, right? That's Leto because of that portal. Because otherwise we have blockers for all their units. We have blockers for all their units. The odds of them getting that portal was fine. Yeah, because we could block, block, stun, stun, and we survive. It's fine. We almost got there. The double scroll sheriff just set us too far back, right? The double scroll sheriff set us too far back, and, and that just was a little bit too much. So, GG's. In this match, we're going against Nasus and Senna. Hmm. I love the Shepherd. I think the quicksand is not necessary in this matchup. Everything else can go. Malphite's a little bit too early. However, I prefer to get a Talia here. That's a duel could be good. Uh, chip. 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 Do we play the chip in turn two? Do we play the chip in turn two to set up for chip having more life later? Uh, having three later on? I guess we can. I don't think that he matters. I don't think that he matters. If the opponent wants to kill the ship, they can kill it. We'll go for the Shepherd. Maybe the opponent doesn't have Soul Harvest. And if they do, I'm annoyed, but it's not impossible. Don't have the Talia, so... Yeah, let's go here. Soul Harvest on the Rock Bear Shepherd. Will be a punish. I'll give you the draw. But I won't give you the trade. Because I want to trade with something else later. Do I want to play this? What if we top deck Talia on turn 5? This is the hard part, right? Like, if we top deck Talia, we just lose up. We just lose up in the value from the rock fish. From the... From copying the, the bear. 
So not being able to copy this could be a problem. Let's just push damage. You see me? Yes. Think I'm cool with this? We're not trading anywhere, right? So I think I'm cool with this block if the opponent blocks like this. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, you probably wanna trade and start getting your Nasus a little bit bigger. Uh, the Senna. Senna to kill the Rock Bear. So we go here and we just keep... We, if we, if we don't get anything? Yeah, I mean... We literally don't get anything now, so the opponent gets no trade. Now, if they have the Senna, it's not a big deal. Because they don't have enough... They don't have enough damage to play the uh, the darkness. Okay. So we can play second sentinel and just keep pushing damage. Opponent tapped out of their education or anything else that that makes us scare. It, this three six eight ten eleven sixteen. Let's force an answer out of them. Let's say that they have no other units. Let's force like a vengeance or a fast speed removal out of them on the open attack. Right? So this is lethal on the on the on the open. If they, if they have to spend like a vengeance here, which is one less that goes to Malphi later. See? That's one less vengeance that I have to worry about. Unfortunately, this is still a super aqua hand, right? Get the rocks, the salt spire. That's pretty Get good. Um, let's go here. I, I like this. The problem is that I'm gonna just lose, right? The opponent's gonna have an eradication that can kill my whole board. And see how the opponent didn't do anything here? It's because they have the way to kill my whole board. Eradication does it. Could also be Casticate, no. right? So. They leveled up the Senna, they killed the whole board. There's one problem though. Malpha is now gonna be leveled up. We still have the stun, and then next stun, the opponent's gonna have to be very careful of how they approach this. So I guess we have to go Salt Spire to be able to actually level up this Malphite. We have a second map fight. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a unit here that's gonna get summoned and it's gonna summon my second unit. So we're gonna have this curve with the rock Ray shepherd means that we have an open attack that the opponent is gonna have to have a really bad time dealing with. Nasus again doesn't matter. We I guess it does matter. It matters. What if, what if we let that go? What if we let that happen? If the opponent has Rattle Negation, they level up the, they, they, they level up the Nasus anyways, right? So if we go like this and we just take the 12, I think I'm fine with that. If the opponent goes here, I just replay my mouth fight and I'm chilling, right? I guess the opponent will have access to, uh, I know what they have. They have the they have the Nasus spell, right? So they have the Nasus spell. So since they have the Nasus spell, I'm just gonna take this. Life and, death in next and I'm gonna replay, I'm gonna replay my mouth fight. There it is. I'm gonna replay my mouth fight. And what that's gonna let me do is that I'm gonna be able to actually stun this Nasus next time if I wanted to. Regardless, he also summons two five five or four fours now, four fives. The problem is I'm still one off from Lito. Do we ever do we ever commit the unstoppable force first? Nope, because we can just go like this. That's huge. If the opponent has Rattle Negation, uh, Ruination, that's a Punish. 
I think we open. I think we open. I think we always open. And let them have the be let them have the way to stop this first. And afterwards, we play the uh, the the uh, the Sunburst. Yeah, I think we always open first. It's gonna be really hard for them to deal with two, four, fives with the amount of mana that they have. So, GG's. In this match, we got against Bane, Aatrox, and Quinn. Malphite is really good against them, right? Because the Malphite is just gonna be a stun, like forever. Ancient prep is good. I don't know if it's good right now, though. Blue Sentinel is not bad, but I think I want to actually, since we have the chip and we have the ancient prep, I think I want to look for something else than Blue Sentinel. Mystic Vortex is better than ancient prep on turn two. This is even better. So that's, uh, no, actually, no, no, no. Do I want to go Mystic Vortex or Rock Fresh Up? Uh, Rock Hopper is probably better because the opponent is going to want to play Bane on turn three, right? So by playing the Mystic Vortex, that's better. It also starts giving me the draw and this counts down quicker. Then we go Rock Hopper and we have a second ship as well. The Rock Hopper even becomes a 4-2. Four, a, a, a four we have a second ship here. They're gonna give me the Bane. Wow. 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 Catch? Wait. What? I'm so confused. I don't think I need to attack, by the way. I don't need to attack with my three threes. I don't want to give them the the hit right here, right? So I don't I don't want to give them the uh, the dark control. This is a game where we go long, anyways. So we can just take it easy. I don't want to play Salt Spire until I have Talia. I guess now we take it, right? Now we can take it because the opponent is attacking into us. Is this the time where we ancient prep? So that we can potentially get Talia and play our Soul Spire later? Alright, so we get the Talia, right? This is the card that we want to duplicate. We could go. We could go Sentinel. Because we know we're always going to play the Soul Spire in turn four. And Talia on turn 5, right? So we can just go ahead and just push this 5 damage. Play the Salt Spire. And have Talia plus Quicksand for the next turn. There is one problem here. The opponent having access to the Quick Attack weapon, right? We could get rid of the Scout. By going Quicksand first. And that seems a little bit greedy, especially now that we have the Malphite. Okay, so... Now we... Huh. So I'm down to play Talia first, see what they do. They didn't put this quick attack on the Balor. They didn't put the quick attack on the Balor. Right? We're gonna just take it like this. If the opponent puts another Darkin Harp on the Balor, we go the Quicksand. Because while the Quicksand is gonna... I'm so confused! If they don't do anything, I'm just gonna pass and I'm just gonna play Malphite next turn, right? So like, we can just go like this? I'm so confused. You're never killing this Talia. We have Malphite next turn. You have no blockers. Oh, it's just gonna be eight trots? That's gross. That does let you heal. That does let you heal. Here's the question. Do we ever... Do we ever just say yes to this? We're going all in next turn, right? We're going lethal, lethal or lethal or best or bus, pretty much. So it's either we go lethal or we lose, right? So no matter what, we're gonna play Malphite. 
We'll have the Unstoppable Force. Next time we have Double Celestial Wonder. Even if the opponent gets the Scout Attack here with their little Quinn, it's not gonna matter. This is this is not gonna matter, right? I think this is lethal no matter what. At most, opponent can only summon one more unit, and we have nine, eight, ten challenger, and then we just quicksand, and we're okay. So we quicksand first, by the way. So the reason that we quicksand, quick, quicksand first is so that the opponent cannot get the scout attack. And then we attack with everything and opponent loses. You're easy to track. Yeah, doesn't matter how you block, my friend. This is lethal. You didn't get the scout attack either, and that's fine. GG's. That was an interesting game, but the moment that we got Malphite, that deck really struggles, so... In this match, we're going against Timo and Caitlyn, and it's Bilgewater. What is the opponent playing in Bilgewater? Huh. I like this rock hopper. Oh no, no, no. Celestial Wonder snug great. Not great. I guess he might be okay in this matchup later on once Kaden levels up. But not great right now. I wanted to play this rock hopper before the opponent got the peddler, but of course they got attack token on two, so it doesn't even matter. Uh we will at least get the rock bear shepherd here, and I think that's fine. We can potentially push a lot of damage into the opponent. Make it rain, I guess, right? This is a make it rain. Mystic shot too. Wow. They just went all in for this. I think it's fine. It sucks, right? But I think it's fine. Especially if we, if we can top deck Tali, I think this is going to be completely fine. My concern here is another... Act chip is not bad. I like the chip. I like the chip. And then I'm going to actually commit the quicksand here. And just kill the Kaelin. I'm gonna save this second Soul Spire until after we draw uh, Talia. Potentially, so that we can duplicate the Rock Bear. Uh, we don't have the Talia. That kind of sucks. I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Maybe we need to just play it out. Maybe we need to just play it out. Just because we want to just put pressure on them. I think, may I think maybe that has to be the play. Even with Fat Talia, we just have to rip it. So that we have two five fives next turn. So we have two five fives next turn. Yeah, I'm cool with this. We ancient prep. We should have waited until afterwards to ancient prep because that will shuffle away the the time bombs, the flash bombs. Right? Now we give them the chance to actually pull back. Ah, well, yeah, yeah. We could have actually switched out the flash bombs. But that's fine. Yeah, we had to take this. We skipped, right? So hopefully we get Malphi or something else. Or Talia. Talia will be amazing. Dragon's Rusk? Rusk is actually not horrible. Getting me the bots might be okay. Yeah, opponent's gonna just hit here. Makes sense. We have a lot of ways to stall with Celestial Wonder. The problem is gonna be the shrooms, right? This is not horrible. So the shrooms are gonna add up. We beat the Teemo. The flash bombs are also a problem, but not impossible to deal with because we're gonna have a lot of units to take the damage for them. Okay, we can predict the flash bombs away. Cool. We're gonna skip again because we keep not getting our champions. Alright, I'm gonna let them do that. I'm gonna write a negation, whatever they use to kill this. Right? Um Let's negate that. Let's prevent the two S trap flash bombs. Look at who we have! So we can go Malphite. We probably should have just uh, stunned the Flash Bomb guy instead of the Peddler, but that's okay. We have Lethal with the Unstoppable Force. 
when it gets to make it rain. It's not enough. I guess it's enough to save them though, but it's not. It is enough to save them. I don't think I actually go for the lethal here with this unstoppable force. I think I just force them to have to block with their peddler and we keep the right of negation for our Karina. Or if the opponent gets greedy, we keep the right of negation for this. No, I, I still think we go for the Karina, right? Let's assume that the opponent has Karina and let's keep this right of negation for that. We beat the team up with the Celestial Wonder. 47 shrooms, 14 HP. The Flash are just going to be hitting the mouth fight. Double blockers. We only hit one shroom. We go here, boom. So Timo doesn't get to attack and we still have right of negation. That's a lot of units, but doesn't do you anything if I just go here, right? Like, how, do, how does the opponent beat this? We go Unstoppable Force, and we have Rider Negation for Karina. Or anything else that the opponent might have. Two cards, and there, there she is. We Rider Negation, we win the game. There we go. I mean, a lot of, a lot of peddlers. A lot of peddlers, but that's just not enough. So, GG's. In this match, we're going against Barris and Samira. The quicksands are decent in this matchup. Everything else feels pretty bad. I mean, oh man, this is a, this is such a tempting hand. Because both of these are really good against them. I think the quicksand is the only one that we want though. Celestial so Wonder can be hit by the spell shield. This is a, this is a decent hand. Oh no, yeah, this hand is nuts. Never mind. This hand is absolutely nuts. Do I play the Desert Duel? I don't think so. I think I'm skipping. I don't want anything like that. Right? This is such a good hand here because we can go Sentinel, Salt Spire, Talia. Rider Negation is huge. The Sentinel means that the opponent cannot kill this with, um, with Samira, right? I don't think I blocked this, right? Not yet. Because even if I have four mana next turn, all I'm doing is summoning the Salt Spire, and I want the Salt Spire to be there for Talia. There's no way for me to go Salt Spire and Talia, even if I let this die. So I don't think it's correct to, 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 do, to do anything there. I think we just pass. Because if we have this Salt Spire duplicated by Talia, we're just going to be in a really good spot. The only downside is that Talia is not going to be anywhere close to leveling up, right? Uh, the Sentinel, I guess, is decent, but it's not really anything major. And we'll have enough mana for Salt Spire, Talia, and Quicksand if necessary. Vortex. Okay, so. Do I want this Sentinel yet? I don't know if I need it. Yeah, I don't know that I need the Sentinel just yet. I think I just block like this. We go Salt Spire. We duplicate the Salt Spire with Talia. I guess we could have had Rider Negation mana if we did, if we let this go. We will have leveled up Ma uh, Malphite once we draw him, once we draw him once this thing dies. Opponent play nothing else here. Yeah, so I guess there is one problem here. There is one punish, and it's Furious Wilder, right? We didn't keep enough mana for Rider Negation. Can be analyzed, even I think I'm just passing. We can play Mystic Vortex. I know, okay. So do you have the Furious Will there now? And do we take that Furious Will there? Yes, right? I think so. I think if the opponent had done it, I would have taken it. So now you have like nothing. We could go Rock Bay Shepherd. Now you do it? I, I, I'm, I'm confused. What's the purpose of doing it now? Do I care about the Talia level up? I don't think so, right? I think we just chill. We'll have the Stonebreaker. We have Desert Duel and Quicksand. So if the opponent plays anything else here, we can just Desert Duel. 
This guy's gonna be a big deal. I'll take the mana this time if you want if you wanna give it to me. No moon, no Is that true? Or do we just block? I'm done to just block. Let's just get rid of this big five drop. Right? I know I have the stone break it. I can kill Samira or Barris. Opponent can block this guy. And that's fine. Yeah, I think we just attack. If the opponent wants to block... Oh my goodness. Like, why are they taking these blocks? Why are they taking these blocks? I'm passing again. I don't need to play the stone breaker just yet. Okay, Talia is probably better now, right? Talia is probably better. Just get the double right having rock bear. But it doesn't work like that, does it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Let's let's duplicate it. Let's get the double the double rock at the double uh, rock bear. We get Talia. We have right negation. We have quicksand. Both of them get summoned right away, right? Because of the Shepherd. So now, how do you deal with this board against a Rata Negation and everything else that we have? The moment that the opponent tries to pull Talia, we just quicksand. I really don't care. Even if they have double... Like, they have to... Even if they have double spell shield, they lose to the quicksand. So they're going after the Talia. We just go quicksand and we chill. You get the flare and that's that's all you do. And then how do you beat the attack next turn? So there goes Samira. Please, 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 please. Okay, you're still losing her. Are you going to commit something else here? One more spell gets the Samira leveled up. Please commit it. Please. Go all in on her. Go all in on her. I know you want to, my friend. The only downside is that she's not going to die, right? So she's not going to die. Don't hold anything back. So... Since she's not dying... No, I think it's too, I think it's too good for me to have Talia on the field, right? I think Talia on the field is way too good, so I think I have to just keep that Talia. She's push she's putting so much pressure on the opponent. Yeah, I think Talia being alive just puts so much pressure together with my five fives. The opponent's gonna have to block with Samira anyways on the open attack. So, GG's. Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games. Uh, we got to play Choking Sips games today. So I, I thought all Sips games were pretty good. So I didn't want to cut any of them out. So it's a little bit of a, I guess, more almost at the 50 minute mark video, I think. I don't know. I haven't edited yet. So I don't know how long it will be. But hopefully you all enjoy all the games. Usually I try to do five games. But today we got to sneak in a six game. So yeah. Malfa Talia, huh? It's pretty good. I think it's very good, right? I mean, obviously rotation got me a little bit scared with Talia because she lost a lot of the Shurima landmarks right so you know you no longer can play talia six but talia malphite i think has a lot of ground to it uh this combo right having salt spire into talia to duplicate that the grumpy rock bear or rock bear shepherd and then i guess you're gonna have to skip turn four so that you don't get like you could go rock bear shepherd go salt spire and then go talia and that's probably the best curve that you can get because it means in the following turn you end up having triple rock uh, grumpy rock bears plus talia and that's almost impossible for most decks to come back from or sometimes as you saw in some of the games all you have to do is just wait for that mouth fight stun everything and just win the game from there usually mouth fight is going to be your main win condition i would think uh but sometimes you can get around it by just going super aggressive into the opponent's board now this deck list i did find on lord master so it's not exactly my deck list but i honestly do like every choice in here right if you look at a landmark ancient prep is so good at just fits in our hand getting us what we need and it's just a landmark that counts towards the level up the blue sentinel is very nice as well because of the crystal insight can count towards a landmark can count towards two towards our mouth our mouth as well and if you have like let's say you get no other landmarks just having this 
and then having the Soul Spire and duplicating it with Talia, that's enough to get you to 10 to level up your Malphite. So it's not bad either. Mystic Vortex does the same idea. A two mana landmark so that you have two and you only need eight more to level your Malphite. And the reason this one is really nice as well is because it's a draw. So it lets us draw one. So it's kind of replacing what our two mana shooting and landmark used to do, the Perseverian that used to draw us two cards. This is worse than Perseverian, but it's kind of replacing Perseverian, right? Rock Hopper, nothing that can be said about this. Just another landmark generator, right? Again, this is also another two mana landmark, so it gets our modified level up really quickly. I guess we're just going down the line instead of going through the landmark chip. Just early, good blocker early on. I can push some damage early on. That's the dude. I think it's really nice to get rid of some of the opponent key units. Dragon Roost is, I think, an underrated landmark as well. The fact that it just summons you a bots once it's calmed down can be really good as well. And if you play this on turn three, by the time you get to your Talia turn, it'll be down to countdown one. So you're still able to duplicate it with Talia. And that's the whole point where Roos is kind of decent in this deck. Uh, and obviously the five six stat line with Fury is actually very good. Sometimes better than having the Grumpy Rock Bear. Double Quicksand to protect ourselves against the opponent's elusive. So impact these days. Rock Bear Shepard is one of the best cards in this deck and pretty much the best card of a lot of landmark decks or Shurema decks in general. It gives you that free uh, having a rock bear and then you just start counting it down really easily because of the shepherd ability it's it's, it's nuts right negation to negate the opponent stuff protect our units or be able to go for lethal salt spire is just there for talia salt spire in turn four talia in turn five is probably one of the best curves that you could ask for and just gets us the multiple rock bears celestial wonders again just like quicksand it allows us to protect ourselves from lethal damage Double Sunburst removes some of the opponent's key units like Tristana, uh, Triple Talia, a win condition, levels up really easily with this deck. And the idea again is to duplicate your Rock Bears, right? So Talia is very in integral, integral to that plan to the point that I actually want to keep Talia on my Mulligan. Like keeping Talia in your Mulligan is important. You want to look for this Talia in your Mulligan. Stonebreaker is a nice four damage removal, right? Again, can kill Tristana, can kill Barros, it can hit a lot of things. And then Malphite just finishes the game, levels up, stuns the opponent more, and lets you push damage. That's the idea. You're going to play this as a mid-range strategy, as you saw a lot of our games today. All you want to do, again, your main goal is to get multiple Rock Bears on the field, so that then you can set up for the lethal turn by either just putting a lot of pressure on the opponent, or having a Malphite stun the opponent board, having a lot of Rock Bears in your field to be able to push for lethal. The way that you do that is going to be through Rock Bear Shepherd, Salt Spire, and Talia. These are your three most important cards in this deck. So when I go for the Mulligan, I usually am looking for the Rock Bear Shepherd and Talia. We play so many Salt Spires and we also play Dragon's Roost that are so good with Talia that you want to keep Talia in your hand because it's going to be very likely that you're going to get either Salt Spire, Rock Bear Shepherd, or Dragon's Roost to be able to combine with the Talia to be able to actually duplicate your landmark. So those are the things that I'm looking for. In certain situations, I don't mind keeping the Vortex. It's a nice early landmark that's going to draw me another card. Or if I'm going against like an aggressive deck that I know I need to have blockers earlier, that's when I'm looking for the Chip, Sentinel, and the Rock Hopper to protect some damage early. But for the most part, against most matchups, you want to look for that Rock Bear Shepherd and that Talia. Those two cards kind of just set the stage for your for your mid range plan to come into play and for you not to die too quickly so yeah i think that's all i can say about this deck very fun so if you want to try this out definitely give it a shot it's a good time to try it uh, it's a little bit awkward against like your tristana decks that's why we are playing triple quicksand but you can still sometimes sometimes beat them if you get a little bit lucky it's just that the outcats can be really annoying because they don't get stunned by the malphite so that's probably one of our worst matchups but other matchups feel really good as you saw against that, like bane atrox we completely destroy the massive decks and that's really really nice a lot of times so yeah hope you enjoyed today's games if you did make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us we post lor videos every single day you can also find us on Twitch at Twitch Tutorial. We stream every now and then. And you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all again tomorrow.